Welcome back to the channel everyone. If you're new, I'm Megan Remedy, holistic nutritionist. In today's video, we are going to be talking about Kim Kardashian, psoriasis, and the medical medium. So I have wanted to do a video on Kim Kardashian and her psoriasis for a while and I've also wanted to do a video on medical medium so I'm just going to combine them today because recently um, the Keeping Up With The Kardashians YouTube posted a clip of Kim Kardashian consulting with the medical medium on her psoriasis and the issues. So there's a few things that I want to go over and maybe help you guys understand so I hope you will like this video and in no way am I shaming Kim Kardashian. I would love to help people with health issues and this is what I do on my channel. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. I would love to have you join the health community here and we're going to get into the video now. Okay, so recently Kim Kardashian had the medical medium on keeping up with the Kardashians because she says that her psoriasis is the worst that it's been and she is breaking out severely on her legs. Um, so today we are going to be talking about why her psoriasis is getting worse, why I'm suspecting that it's getting worse because she's not my client so I don't exactly know what's going on but from an outsider's perspective looking in I am a holistic nutritionist so that's what we are going to be going over today. Now all that I'm going to say about the medical medium is that celery juice is not a cure-all. Um, that is a reductionist theory. If it was that simple, if getting healthy was that simple, if healing psoriasis and all of these issues were that simple, then there would not be as many practitioners as they are and there would not be as many people suffering with health issues as there are. So... It's more complicated than that. There are studies that show that celery actually um, holds on to more copper than a lot of other vegetables. And the vegetable that's best to take copper toxicity out of the body is cilantro. So in this episode, the medical medium says that the reason why Kim Kardashian... Um, is having worsening psoriasis is because there's a lot of copper in her liver. I'm not going to show the clip because I don't want to get a copyright strike because it is a um, keeping up with the Kardashians clip. So I will link it below if you would like to see that. But to sum it up, he just says that she has copper toxicity in her liver. So one, I know that Kim Kardashian clearly has enough money to go get a hair mineral analysis test. So if you suspect that you have heavy metal toxicity, I suggest that you go do that um, instead of contacting the medical medium because that will be actual proof. Um, and secondly, let's just say that what he says is true and she does have copper toxicity in her liver that is adding to her psoriasis issue. Now, there is literature saying that copper toxicity does affect psoriasis, so we are going to be talking about where her copper toxicity is coming from, how estrogen dominance affects that copper toxicity, how her makeup comes into play. So let's get into it. So Kim Kardashian has came out with a new makeup line that is body makeup so that people can cover their imperfections on their skin. She wants to cover her psoriasis, things like that, which I have no problem with anybody using makeup. Everybody can do as they please to make themselves happy. I just feel as a holistic nutritionist that is it is important for people to be educated on the contents of these this makeup, the effects of this makeup environmentally, um, biologically, all of the above. 
So when we look at psoriasis, it's important to test for allergies, gluten sensitivities, um, yeast overgrowth, heavy metal ex- exposure, and toxicity, and things of that nature. When we look at her makeup, there are a lot of chemicals in it, which I'm not just demonizing um, Kim's products. If you use makeup, that is just what you're going to come in contact with unless you use all natural makeup, um, which sometimes doesn't have as good of effectiveness as chemical makeup. So that's why a lot of people like using chemical makeup, but there are downsides to chemical makeup. Now, I believe all of her ingredients are FDA approved and such, but that does not mean that these products don't affect your body or affect your health, even if they are FDA approved. So when we look at her makeup ingredients, now her body makeup ingredients aren't out yet, so I don't have the exact list of those ingredients. So we are going to use one of her other foundations to look at the ingredients because I'm assuming that the formula will be similar with probably just a few changes. So when we zoom in here, we see that there is copper powder in her makeup. Now, just to let you guys know, there's a difference between organic copper, organic minerals that the body can use and need, and there's a difference between synthetic copper that the body cannot use and it will be stored in the liver or the tissues, causing heavy metal toxicity. Now, when you are using makeup on a daily basis, these chemicals are being directly absorbed into the skin and they are going to overburden the liver, especially if the liver is already not working properly because of other issues. Now, we see that on this beauty website, I will link it below, it's called Skin Deep, you can search ingredients that are in makeup to see the toxicity levels and certain issues. So we see that this copper, 77400, um, it has a low overall hazard and low for developmental and reproductive toxicity. Um, But then down here it says other moderate concerns, organ system toxicity, non-reproductive. So that would be the liver. Um, And so we are seeing that this ingredient in her product is adding to the copper liver toxicity that's in her body, adding to the problem of her psoriasis most likely. Now, this is not a diagnosis at all. I am just speculating based on my professional opinion. Um, Also, other problems with the makeup or just with makeup in general Um, is that a lot of these ingredients are actually plastic when you just break it all down. A lot of these big words, take it all, break it down, Google it, it's all plastic. Um, Different molecules, different structures, etc., but essentially plastic. It's all synthetic, synthetic beeswax, um things of this nature. So when we are talking about synthetic plastics, we are talking about xenoestrogens. So these are foreign estrogens to the body. They are usually environmental estrogens and they block the estrogen receptors in your body and can cause hormonal issues. Now why this is relevant is because An increase in estrogen means an increase in copper accumulation in the body. Um, And there are several dangers with this. Um, Estrogen can cause copper retention and accumulation, which can eventually result in toxicity, hormonal events, and um, pregnancy and menopause can trigger this as well. So dangers associated with higher estrogen levels or xenoestrogen being stored in the tissue is that copper raises estrogen as well. So they go hand in hand. Estrogen is touted as a therapy for numerous medical conditions such as osteoporosis, but this mass media hype fails to identify that estrogen is stress promoting on bones and age promoting. Numerous studies have shown that estrogen can produce prolactin and that prolactin can cause osteoporosis 
So this is not necessarily about bones, but that is something to keep in mind and consider. Um, but copper toxicity is an epidemic. Birth control pills and IUDs can contribute to excess copper in the body. Our other ingredients of concern like methyl meth methacrylate, which on the Skin Deep website has a high um, overall hazard and toxicity. It says multiple additives, exposure sources, irritation, skin, eyes, or lungs, and organ system toxicity, and non-reproductive. So moral of the story is that using these chemical makeup products does not have zero effect on the body. It is absorbed th through the skin and often stored in the liver because or in the fat tissue because the liver is overburdened and cannot excrete this. So if what the medical medium says is true for Kim Kardashian, then it's obvious that her lifestyle is definitely affecting this. Now, also, psoriasis is an autoimmune condition, and contraindications with autoimmune conditions are injectables, so things like Botox and hyaluronic acid fillers can trigger autoimmune conditions and or make them worse, so that is definitely something to look out for. Usually on waivers that you sign at these offices, they warn you of such. Now, things that can cause copper toxicity are copper IUDs, birth control um, increases copper uh, because of estrogen dominance, estrogen dominance in general, um, copper can be added to tap water as a fungicide, copper cookware, dental amalgams or fillings, fertilizers and air pollution, and vegan and vegetarian diets can be high in copper because of the nature of them. Um, zinc is not as bioavailable. There's anti-nutrients that bind to zinc and do not allow the body to absorb it. And also, um, copper is very high in certain plant foods, so the copper-zinc ratio is known to be thrown out of balance on a vegan or vegetarian diet, and I'll put the sources below. And this is the type of diet that the medical medium promotes or recommends, and this is not going to help her problem. Also, um, you want to make sure that you are using things that are going to help properly detox these heavy metals out of the body. Um, things like cilantro is better for grabbing and pulling out copper from the body than celery is. And when you're just juicing it, there will be no fiber to help pull these heavy metals out as well a supplement called zeolite is good to chelate copper out of the body um, fat helps chelate heavy metals out of the body so a low fat diet is not optimal also molybdenum helps metabolize excess excess copper and sulfur um, but you have to be careful and watch your levels. Zinc helps to balance the zinc to copper ratio and excrete excess copper. And also alpha lipoic acid that is in red meat and organ meats. And we find xenoestrogens, these environmental estrogens, um, in many hair, makeup, personal hygiene products. Women are bombarded by these, and this is why many women have hormonal imbalances and um, estrogen dominance. So we find things like parabens as preservatives in lotions, perfumes, makeup, um, commercially raised meat, so conventional raised meat, insecticides and pesticide residue, phthalates, um, plastics, especially soft plastics, the linings of coffee cups. So if you're getting a hot tea or a hot coffee, that lining is being melted into your tea or coffee every single day. Um, too much soy, dryer sheets, birth control pills, and many more feminine hygiene products. So what we want to do to look at fixing this problem, um, because psoriasis is a autoimmune condition, you most likely want to go on an anti-inflammatory diet, you want to avoid nightshades, um, 
You would want to avoid foods high in anti-nutrients so you can fix the zinc-copper imbalance. Um, You would want to be on a diet that is low in estrogen and supports raising progesterone levels to balance out your hormones. You want to remove food allergies and sensitivities, test for heavy metals like a hair mineral analysis, fix your gut. There is a five-step leaky gut healing protocol and most people with autoimmune conditions will have some level of a leaky gut going on. Um, You want to implement the right supplements for your body, which needs to be specialized with a functional medicine or nutritional practitioner like myself or someone else and a nourishing diet, proper sleep, things of that nature. So once again, I just wanted to put a disclaimer out there that I am not demonizing makeup. I'm not demonizing Um, her new products if it really makes you feel all that better about yourself to cover up your scars and such that's fine I would just love to educate women on the ingredients so that you can make an educated decision whether this product is best for your health or not and I also wanted to educate women on why it is sometimes hard to heal your conditions because there are so many outside factors, environmental factors that are adding to your condition. So it's not just about cleaning up the diet, it's about cleaning up your whole entire life. And this case with Kim Kardashian is a perfect example because she's rich, she has the money to see the best doctors, the best naturopaths, all of that such, and she is still struggling with this because her lifestyle is not supportive to her healing process. So thank you guys so much for watching until the end. I hope you learned something. That is one of the main goals here on my channel is for you to learn something. And if you would like to support me, there are three different options. Number one, you can go over onto my website and book a consultation with me if you need help with anything nutrition related. Number two, number two. would be joining me on my Patreon, and number three would be buying any supplements that you need through my professional supplement link, always down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.